Hey there, folks. Welcome back. David Eon and the gorgeous Miss Lady Pop Hunter. What are you playing with? My hair. Your hair. Okay. I was like, what you've got in your hand? Back with another weekly roundup. Yes, we are still here. We are not Yay. locked down yet, apparently. Because, unfortunately, Toylanta has canceled. Mm -mm -mm. Toylanta slash Joe Lanta has canceled. I was really looking forward to going there. Yeah, I figured it would. Yeah, I know. Everybody's uh, getting intimidated into shutting down. Not the quilt show. That's right. She did go to the quilt show. Yep, yeah, that was yesterday. But they did close the day early. Yeah. Full day early. Uh, yeah, that stinks. Yeah. That really stinks. But anyways, we'll go ahead and take a look. It's not too much this week. It's been uh, it's a lot less because of the last wave of announcements, you know, mm -hmm. with the New York Toy Fair and everything. Yeah. So things are slowing down a bit. But we'll go ahead and we'll get started with... Funko, Funko, Batman and Robin, and of course that is Uma Thurman and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze, as Mr. Freeze, yeah, actually a pretty cool costume in that film. Yeah, that one actually doesn't look too too bad. Mhm. Mm if you can, maybe you can get Arnold to sign it. Good luck. <laughs> he doesn't sign much. Mm. Batman Forever. Mm. With uh, Tommy Lee Jones and Jim Carrey mm. as the Riddler, mm -hmm. I think he had a lot of fun with that part. I thought, I bet you he probably would have did good as the Joker because he had has that kind of mm -hmm. personality, you know. He probably uh, would have did good. Maybe yeah. Catwoman and. Penguin. Penguin, but that's Danny DeVito. Mm -hmm. And is it Michelle Pfeiffer played the Catwoman I in that film? I think I can't remember. So. Yeah. I don't know because I didn't see it, but that, I think that was the it last, was her. That was the last Michael Keaton Batman. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, he saw the script for part three and he was like, I'm not doing this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know who that is. Yeah. Um, those came out already for the uh, Toy Fair. So you just yeah, Toy Fair them. showed sketches. Yeah. And now they're... They're, they're realities. They're, they're official now. Yeah. So they've been re-announced by Funko. I like the uh, that suit. The purple and orange and I guess that's like a turquoise blue. Uh -huh. I like that suit. And this is all the stuff from the Emerald City Comic Con. This was what Funko dumped into the Funko shop this week. I is, forgot about Emerald City. Yeah, because they announced it like a month in advance, yeah. all of their uh, all their new releases. But that stuff became available in the Funko shop on the 13th. They were going to have some Masters of the Universe I wanted. Oh, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. When when was the Emerald City um, Comic Con? Is it going on now? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, so it might still be in the stores? Yeah, it'd be, uh, because it was, who was getting it, FYE and somebody else? I think Hot Topic. Yeah. I think. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Mm. It'll be there. I mean, I think it's like, Hopefully. you know, exclusive, unless there's a number on it, doesn't mean that there isn't going to be a ton of them now. Yeah. Because Funko's gotten wise to that. Yeah, I might go out tomorrow. Legend of Korra. Mm-hmm. Which is an anime, I believe. Mm. I could be wrong. Somebody can tell me if I am. Yeah. A Hot Topic exclusive. Well, at least the... Oh, it's a, an exclusive. I was gonna, I was thinking Chase for a second, but yeah, it's just an exclusive. Yeah, glow in the dark. Look like the eyes might glow yeah. in the dark. And Soul Eater. Mm. It's like another anime. Soul Eater. Yeah. How does he get his hair like that? See, I always get the stripe going one way in his hair. A lot of work. <laughs> and Trolls, the world tour. This is the official imagery. Because hmm. th I think it was sketches before I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. Those look cool. That one pixelized one looks interesting. Yeah. And Amazon exclusive... 40th anniversary Wampa there from Star Wars. Mm. And this is 6-inch. This is a big okay, one. Okay, yeah. He better be. He looks big. Well, he's a big creature in the movie. Oh, was really? he? Mm-hmm. And that's going to do it for Funko. Okay. 
I'm going to take a look at Mezco real quick. Mezco only has one thing. It's another one of those Living Dead dolls, the MDS Mega Scale kind of things. And that is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He don't have the chainsaw. With sound. What kind of sound he make? Chainsaw sound. Oh, he don't have a chainsaw? Yes, he does. Oh. <laughs> they didn't show him with his accessory. Oh. They just, uh, they just made a bunch of different images. That's creepy. I'm not a fan of those dolls anyways. This thing's $98. Ooh. Yeah. It has that sound. Put a couple extra dollars on I it. I guess so. And that's going to bring us right into the Sideshow Umbrella. Okay. Well, let's see. Not much this week. Mm -hmm. uh, DC's Batman, or Sideshow's DC collectibles, which we haven't seen anything from yeah, in a few weeks. Yeah, that's been out for a while. Batman. If uh, Clint Eastwood were Batman, look at his face. Doesn't yeah. that look like Clint Eastwood's mouth? I could just see a cigar in that corner, like from the, <laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly. That, that looks like Clint Eastwood's mouth. I know, I'm being weird, but... Yeah. Yeah. It's Looking like, at people's mouths. Yeah, I'm Batman. Well, he did talk all breathy in the movies. Yeah. It's, his son is good looking. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. They look like him? No, his son is good looking. Killer East would look old and leathery. Well, now. He always Anyways, looks old. This is $95. <laughs> Who's that? Deadshot. Oh, the, um, that guy playing Deadshot in the movie. Who is? Vin Diesel. Oh, is he? He's going to be Deadshot now? They threw out uh, Will Smith? Mm-hmm. This is 90, and this is part of that diorama. So that fits into the rooftop with the other characters. Oh, that's all the villains? Yeah, it's a bunch of classic Batman villains. They should do one in black and white. You remember how they did that one... Statue, yeah, yeah. one was in color and one was in black and white. Yeah. That probably would look good in that black and white grayscale kind of. Yeah, it probably would. Mm -hmm. One twelfth scale, as you see. Okay. The Joker, and that looks like the Killing Joke Joker. Mm -hmm. 95. Poison Ivy Holiday Edition. It's a little early. It's, it look kind of Christmassy. Yeah, that's why I said holiday edition. Well, maybe you'll get it around Christmas. Yeah, maybe that's when it'll finally come out. Yeah. 140 for the Poison Ivy there. Bombshells. Oh, so much. Bombshells. Christmas. Oh, I guess. <laughs> Gonna get you for that holiday. Yeah. Now, this is from Hollywood Studios, and they are reproductions of the... Batarangs from oh, like prop replicas, yeah. They're one to one scale prop replicas of three different batarangs that were used in the uh, Christian Bale Batman, the first one. Mm. And it comes in the plaque mm. 500. Mm. Ow. Yeah, $500. Yeah, ow. Yeah, Hot Toys Arkham Knights, which is a video game. Batgirl one six scale figure. No. Oh. What's a different well the, the faceplate I guarantee you that's a faceplate change rather than a head change, but look at it. It's like one is a smirk and one is just a plain mouth. Yeah. It's not that much of a difference. No, just enough to put that extra couple of dollars on it. Something getting on his nerves. Kitty. You hear him back there? Yeah. He wants our attention. Come here. Oh, God. You're ruining come the video. Here. No, I'm not. Oh, come here, dummy. There's our big boy. He wants to be on the show. No, he doesn't. He does. Look at him. Hi. What's the matter with you? And anyway, I, I like it, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. $243, though, mm -hmm. for the uh, Batgirl. 243 for Batgirl. Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn, and this is the caution tape jacket version, it says. I guess that's something that you need to have seen the film to understand. Yeah. Because I didn't see it. Mm-mm. Apparently, that one I wanna apparently see. a lot of people didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't uh it wasn't didn't go over well. 
but she is 281. Whoa. Wow, I know. That's more than the... Um, the Batgirl. Mm -hmm. The Batgirl looked really good and had a lot more stuff, but I, I don't know. I guess it must have something to do with the licensing. Because that's going to be over $300 with the postage. Yeah. Wow. Iron Studios, Batman Deluxe. Is that a comic book rendition? I think that's supposed to be Christian Bale. Doesn't look like his mouth. No, maybe it isn't. But Batman Deluxe is 180 Oh, well, that's not bad. Isn't it? Mm -mm. Yeah, they're 112 uh, one tenth, I think, right? Oh. It's either one tenth or one twelfth. Iron Studios Spider Man quarter scale. Oh, far from home, yeah. Cause he the the smoke got the mouth because uh -huh. it was a hologram. Uh huh. Legacy replica quarter scale. There's a lot going on there with all the rockets and everything. Yeah. If you saw the movie, I understand it. I didn't see it. I know you didn't. I did. Here's another shot of it. Mm. $1,050. Whoa. I know. Well, it is a quarter scale. Yeah. It's a big piece. There's <laughs> a lot going on. Yeah. A lot going on. This is from Iron Studios also, and that's Wonder Woman 84 in that uh, hawk girl looking outfit. That's One a tenth. new movie coming out, yeah. right? Ten. I guess that's a part of the movie, though. She turns into a hawk. I don't know. It must be some kind of armor. But like I said, it makes me think of hawk girl. from the. Uh, because from Wonder Woman the didn't movie. turn into no hawk, did she? No. The regular one? No. One tenth scale. Wonder Woman Deluxe, 210. They're probably going down a different path with her. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Because she did things in the last movie that she's never done in the comics. Mm. Not to my knowledge. PCS Collectibles, Pop, Shelter, Pop Culture, Culture Shock. Shock. The Spider-Man Advanced Suit. Look at her shoes. Yeah. Look like Lego things on the bottom. Yeah. $1,100. I like the color on it. Mm hmm Real bright. $1,100. And this is from Pure Arts. And this is Cyberpunk. Is it V-Mail or 5-Mail? Because it says V-Mail. I don't play this, so I don't know. It's a video game. Mm hmm But V also is the Roman numeral for 5. So is it V-Mail or 5-Mail? I'm not sure, but it's a one six scale figure. Comes with the gun, the arm that breaks apart, the jacket. You see this blue inside the jacket mm -hmm. because it does illuminate. Oh, it lights up. Yeah. And there's something going on with the shoes. Yeah. So the shoes light up also, like it does in the game, apparently. Cyberpunk 2077, 230. It's not bad. No, not for a six scale figure. And this is from Unruly Industries. Oh, those are chunky. Yeah, they are. And these are about six inches tall-ish. You've seen them do this before with Marvel characters. Yeah. With the big giant sneakers and stuff and the unt untied shoelaces, whatever. These are 135 a piece. Mmm, that's a pretty for penny. These. Yeah, it is for vinyl figures. Yeah. And I think that's it. Oh, wow. See, not much. Mm. Not much this week. You know, if you had the... We showed last week the Arkham Knight Batman. Remember the uh, six-scale Hot Toys Batman from last week? You could put it with the Batgirl. Mm. Okay. Anything interesting to you? I like the Joker, uh, the, uh, the Jack Nicholson yeah. Joker. That's it. Well, Other than that... It's Nicholson. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of his most memorable roles. Yeah. Other than that, no. Uh, well, I did kind of like the, uh, I, I wouldn't get it probably, but I appreciate the uh, Pure Art Cyberpunk figure. They did a good job on it. It's it interesting. Is. It's interesting. And I like the uh, Arkham Batgirl. Yeah. But that's about it. Not too, yeah. 
Not too much this week. Yeah. Not too much, but not much to show, unfortunately. But did it, do you see anything that you liked? Tell us about it in the comment section down below. What caught your interest, if anything? Or what do you think is played out? I'm starting to feel like Batman's getting played out. Yeah. Batman and Spider-Man. Batman and Spider-Man being played out because it seemed like every week they got a new one. Yeah. Or at least a couple times a month. Harley Quinn and... Uh, Ivy. No, but not, not, not Ivy. Harley Quinn and uh, Deadpool yeah. have been long since played <clears throat> out. I, I, if yeah. I don't see another thing from either of them in a year, I'll be happy. Yeah. But, yeah, Batman and... Um, yeah, this, Spider-Man. This slow down. Yeah, and Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, I think, I think those are getting kind of worn out. Yeah. Anyways, um, that's it. And no Toy Lanta. No Toy Lanta. I'm very disappointed about that. Yeah. But please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. Check out some of the other content if you have not. We do a lot more than just showcase some figures and statues on this channel. We do a lot of uh, vintage commercials and retro video game walkthroughs and toy discussions and so on. You hear the birds? They're happy. Yeah, I know. Hey, go get them and bring them and put them on the... Uh... That'd be a lot harder to catch than our cat. Yeah. Anyway, um, find us on Instagram, open by chance on Instagram. Find us on Facebook. All that information is down below. And what more can I say? Nothing. But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.